greetings to all humans from all around the world. We are anonymous. In disturbing news. Israel is preparing its war on Hezbollah, and the corrupted United States government is waging war on Yemen. Opening a new front against Iran, using Pakistan is part of the Zionists plan, to weaken the resistance to United States Israel hegemony in the Middle East. It would seem, the corrupted United States government, wants to destroy the BRICS coalition. They started with threatening Saudi Arabia, that if it joins the BRICS coalition, the corrupted United States government, will seize its assets. Now, their Zionists and the corrupted United States government, are attacking the second BRICS member, Iran. This brewing of wars in the Middle East, is ultimately aimed at Russia and China. Pakistan has launched so-called retaliatory strikes against militants in Iran, in an apparent response to attacks by Tehran, targeting sites within Pakistan's borders, belonging to a Sunni separatist militant group. Pakistan had already condemned the attacks, which killed and injured at least six people, and declared it illegal, and had warned Tehran of serious consequences. Pakistan also downgraded its diplomatic relations with Iran, recalling its ambassador from Tehran, and expelled the Iranian envoy in Islamabad. A statement by Pakistan's foreign office confirmed, that Pakistan had undertaken a series of highly coordinated and specifically targeted precision military strikes against terrorist hideouts, in the sestan o baluchistan province of Iran. A number of so-called terrorists were killed during this intelligence-based operation, codenamed, Marg Basar Makar. The missile and drone strikes by Iran were in response to a suicide bombing carried out by ISIS-K, an Afghan branch of the Islamic State, which killed 85 Iranians in the southeastern city of Kerman. Iran had also carried out strikes against Syria, Iraq, and Kurdistan. Iran has long accused Pakistan of allowing separatist so-called terrorists, to hide out in the border region of Balakistan, which was targeted in the strikes. Pakistan's decision to respond with retaliatory strikes, raises concern of further escalation of the tensions and violence, that have been spreading across the Middle East and Asia, since the October 7, 2023 attacks by Hamas, and Israel's continuing bombardment in Gaza. It is very sad and unfortunate, to see Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iran, to be at war with one another, even at such a critical moment, in world history. The collective West, and their Zionist handlers, would do everything in their power, to incite hatred among the three Karas neighbors. What a shame for honest and cohesive humans from around the world. It seems, that Iran fell for the scam again, and ditto to Pakistan. There is only one nation that has a serious vested interest in directing Iran against another nation. Can anyone guess who? Only one nation benefited from the destruction of Iraq. Can anyone guess who? Only one nation was gleeful when Iran and Iraq went at each other for almost a decade of war. Can anyone guess who? Only one nation benefited from the 9-11 incident in 2011. Can anyone guess who? Only one nation, an illegal nation, born out of genocide of other people, will benefit from Iran's attention turned away from the real issue in the Middle East. Again, we see our brothers and sisters going at each other. This is clearly the age-old trick, and fools fall for it every time, the classic Euro-American playbook, to divide, and conquer. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the corrupted United States government, and your apartheid contractors in the Middle East, if you have any courage or the means, would face Russia and China yourselves. The cowardly proxy skirmishes against Russia and China will not work, as Russia nor China will not fall for your cheap tricks. To all humans all around the world. Stand as one, and scream. No. More. Wars.